God bless you. This is Pastor G. Greg Murray, and this is a word that you could live by. Amen. We'll just wait a few minutes for um, uh, folks to join in the Periscope. Uh, it's been a while, amen, for a word that you could live by. Um, welcome, amen. God bless you all. Thank you for the hearts. Amen. We pray that everybody had a great Christmas on yesterday. Amen. Hi, Cheryl. God bless you. Welcome. Lanier has joined. Uh, Nicole has joined. Doris. Uh, Lorenzo, God bless you. Stephanie, God bless. Uh, hi, Chess Cat. Amen. God bless you. Uh, good to see all of you. Amen. It's a lot of us are sleeping off. <laughs> A lot of the, um, amen, God bless all of you. A lot of the great food on yesterday, amen. Uh, amen, thank you, Tammy, God bless you. Yes, it's been a while for a word that you could live by, Elena. Uh, just been busy, you know, with church stuff. Uh, but I wanted to, um, to to give a word that you could live by. Uh, of course, it's, uh, any, everything new is, is uh, sort of the word now uh, with New Year's uh, upon us. Amen, God bless all of you. Amen. God bless you. Uh, I'm hearing that they're having just good weather up north. I think it, they said it kind of got a little colder today, but I was told it was in the 70s this week up in, in, in parts of the north. Amen. Yes, Lanier, we have a beautiful uh, sanctuary. Amen. God is good. Um, God is good all the time. You know, it's. Um, I'm just sitting here. Um, folks are, the church office has been closed Um for a, a, a few. Hey Amen. Let me show you the pulpit. Hey Amen. I'm sitting in front of the instruments here. There's our organ, our drums. Hey Amen. And I'll just show you a little bit of our sanctuary. There's our choir stand, our baptismal in back of that. There's our pulpit with the elements. Hey Amen. That we serve communion with. Hey Amen. And, and God has just blessed us. Hey Amen. But we know that the church, hey Amen, are the people. Hey Amen. And, and right now, it's just me and God in the sanctuary. Amen. So I just want to say God bless all of you. Um, you know, um, everybody's talking about new. Uh, now, since Christmas is gone, now we look on to New Year. Uh, hi, Darlene. God bless you. Now, come on, visit. Uh, Lanier, you know, we're right here in the city of St. Petersburg. You know what the temperature is today here? It's 88 degrees. I got my little Florida shirt on, y'all don't laugh. Hey, man, they they done gave me Florida shirts, and I, you know I'm I'm Floridaized now, whatever that means. Amen. But we're talking about um, new. You know, everybody's now is looking now toward the new year. Amen. And people are making new year resolutions. You know, stuff we're gonna do. Um, when the new year, soon as the new year comes in, gonna start working out, gonna start eating better. Going to start taking that walk, amen. Going to go on that diet. Uh, going to leave that person alone. Going to, uh, you know, uh, maybe even go back to school, you know, come the new year. Look, if you're serious about whatever it is that you want to do that's new in your life, start today. Amen. Look, don't wait for January 1st. If you're serious about it, start today. Amen. This is the day. If you're really serious, start today. Because you know what? Um, God has already started blessing you in 2016. He's already started blessing you. Amen. Your blessings for 2016 have already started. Can I get a witness? It's, it's, it's already there. Uh, God has already uh, spoken over your life and said that, you know, you're going to be blessed. Amen. And you have received that. So look, start to step out on that. Uh, right now, start to act as though uh, things that are not as though they were. Amen. Start to believe God that he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. Amen. Come on, hit those hearts. I mean, if you believe in God for even greater things in, in 2016, look, the thing that's going to lead you to greater in 2016 starts right here in 2005, 2015. I know we have a few more days, amen, uh, until the new year comes in. But look, start today. Get it today uh, or, or write some stuff down and ask God, Lord, give me that spirit today. Look, I just don't just give you a New Year's Eve, a New Year's Day spirit. 
Amen. Whatever God is going to do, he can do it right now. He's a God of suddenly. He's a right now God. Amen. If you know he's a right now in God, hit those hearts. Amen. Yes. Uh, yes. Already stepping in my new shoes. That's right. I got my 2016 shoes on now. Amen. And so when, when New Year comes in, we're going to be in church. We're going to be fellowshipping. Amen. With another church, with the New Mount Olive Church on New Year's. And look, we're going to be praying when the New Year comes in. Uh, but I'm I'm already I'm already walking, Amen, in my 2016 blessing, Amen, because God has given me a mindset, Amen, a mindset to to go higher and deeper in Him, and that has started, you know, in 2015. He has uh, started preparing the way, Amen, right now in 2016, Amen. So 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 look, uh, if you're serious about it, start today. Let your new come in today. Because if you're in Christ, you are a new creature. Old things have already passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Amen. Get serious about it. You know, look about the New Year's resolutions. What what resolutions did you make last year? Did you stick to it? Two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month? Serious? Ask God, Lord, today. Give me a mindset so that we can walk, amen, into our new season. Not sit there and wait for the clock to hit 12.01, amen, on December 31st. Uh, the clock is at 12.01, 12 o'clock now. It's 11.59 now. And God is saying, look, I want to do it now, amen. And so I'm just going to slide, amen, from my 2015 right into my 2016, amen. And, and, and God has already given me a mindset uh, and, and, and faith, amen. Uh, that he will do exactly what he said he's going to do in my life. Personally, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting great things. If you're expecting great things in 2016, hit those hearts, amen. I mean, you know that you're going to another level. You, you're going to another place, amen, uh, in God. So I'm just hanging out today. Um, Stop by the church to, to look at some stuff and to, to, uh, to, um, to work on some things. Uh, it's always good coming in uh, the day after Christmas. And praying, amen, for the people. Uh, we're expecting great things in my ministry uh, here at Mount Zion. You know, God is going to do awesome things because we know at Mount Zion, God has already started to do, you know, the awesome things, amen, in 2015. He has given us a sign, amen, that even greater is coming. If you believe greater is coming, hit those hearts, amen. I know some, that's a word for somebody, greater is coming. Well, look, let me tell you something. Yesterday we celebrated the birth of Jesus Christ. So guess what? Greater is here. Amen. And greater wants to do greater in you. Amen. So just receive it. Just claim it. Amen. That I will. And sometimes, um, you know, you have to eliminate some things. You can't take uh, everything, you know, from 2015 into, into the new year. Uh, if God is going to do a new thing, then first some old things have to pass away. Amen. God, God can't put uh, new life uh, or new wine in old wineskins. Amen. So look, you have to maybe eliminate some things. That's a word for somebody. You can't take everything. What blessed you in 2015 might hinder you in 2016. Amen. So you cannot take everything and everybody. Leave some of that stuff in 2015. Leave it at the altar. If you're going to be in church, you're going to be praying. Leave a lot of stuff at the altar. Look, write a list. Amen. Write a list. And when you get to that altar just before the new year comes in, uh, you, you you take that list. You say, God, all of this I'm not taking with me over in the 2016. It's got to go. And that's people, places, and things. You know, some people you need to let go of. Some places you need to stop going to. Some things you need to let go of. Amen. Don't pick up what God told you to put down. Amen. Hi, Denise. God bless you from Chicago. Amen. So just speaking about new, you know, um, and, and are you prepared for the new? You know, all of us ask God for new, and we're not ready for new. So when new comes, we don't know how, amen, to treat new. We don't know how to receive new because we have um, not asked God for the wherewithal, the spiritual knowledge, amen, to receive the new. Amen. That's why a lot of us are hanging on to the old because we don't know how to receive the new. God wants to do new, but your mindset is an old mindset. Come on. God can't do new things with an old mindset. With new things that he gives in our lives comes a new mindset. 
Amen. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. So look, are you expecting something new? Let's do this. We always have this uh, uh, fun on a word that you can live by. Let's just type in new. Amen. New. New. Let me just see it. I, I want to see y'all type in new. Amen. I know it's coming. Hey, Sister Rivera, God bless you. New. There it is. Lanea, new. Darlene, new. Doris, new. Uh, Cass Simmons, new. Uh, Cheskat, new. Tammy, new. Favored by God, new. Cheryl, new. Yes, ooh, God is doing a new thing. Haskins, new. Rivera, yes, I am new. Tammy, there it is, new. New, new. God respecting you for new things, amen. Uh, 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 new blessings, amen. New opportunities. Somebody, there's go Stephanie, there's go Darlene, new, new. Perhaps even new promotions, new jobs, amen. But look, uh, sometimes it's like, uh, new, but yeah, but God also saying, look, I can't do new because you're still hanging on to the old. Amen. So, so, uh, old things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. Amen. God won't put new on top of old. So sweep that new away. Don't bring it in. Sweep that old away. Don't bring it into uh, 2016. Amen. I know this is a word that you can live by because this is a word definitely for me. Um, I, I'm, I, I see God doing great things in my life in 2016. I'm just getting ready for the ride. I got my little seatbelt on. And I'm just saying, Lord, take me to wherever you want me to go. Do for me or with me or through me, whatever you want to do. Amen. And I hear God say a new from even Pastor G. Greg Murray. Amen. New 2016. New. Amen. I want new revelation. I want new power. Amen. I want new strength. Amen. I want new opportunities in the kingdom. Amen. I want a, 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 a newer, amen, and a fresher approach in ministry. Amen. Because I know the devil, amen, is already lined up what he's going to try to do in 2016. Not only to the church, not only to you, but in your family, on your job. The devil's already have appointed days lined up for you in 2016. So what you have to do is approach it with a whole new attitude, a whole new spirit. Amen. Newfound strength. Come on. And sometimes we find that strength through the things we go through, through the things we suffer. God is can can there's a purpose in your pain. Amen. The things you go through, God wants to bless you with it. Can I get a witness? Amen. I'm already, yes, I'm owning it too. Greater in twenty sixteen. The reason why I know he'll do greater in 2016 in my life is because he did greater in my life in 2015. Amen. And every round goes higher and higher. The reason why you're still here because God has greater and newer and better. Amen. Things in store for you. Hey, all you have to do is be willing to let go of some of that stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's different stuff for different folks. But you know some of that stuff God is saying let go of. You know some of them places God is saying look don't go there no more. He even wants to do greater things with you in ministry. Can I get a witness? Those of us who are in ministry, uh, God may be calling you, amen, to a newer, to a fresher and a higher dimension. But you have to just be willing and, and have the boldness, amen, to cut off things God says cut off and to let go of God, the things that God says let go of. Amen. Am I talking to anybody? I believe I am. Amen. It's a word that you could live by. So God bless you. Look, I'm going to take my, um, my Florida shirt. And I'm, my flip flops, and I'm gonna head out probably uh, to the beach uh, for a little while. Amen. And enjoy my day. Uh, I enjoy your day too. One of the mothers uh, cooked me a um, sweet potato pie. I got my mind on that. Amen. I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm gonna heat it up, put some French vanilla ice cream with it. Amen. And treat myself to a, s a slice. Of my sweet potato pie. Amen. And, and, and I'm praying uh, greater and, and, and newer over your life too. Amen. Um, I'm praying. I'm praying that God uh, will, 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 will give you the faith to see, amen, before it happens, where God wants to take you and what God wants to do with you. Amen. I pray that those things will come upon you. 
Amen. And you'll have newfound strength that you didn't even know you had. Amen. To walk into your new season. Amen. To declare and, to de and decree that your life will be better. That the things that hindered you in 2015 will not hinder you in 2016. Are you believing God? Come on. Believe God. I'm praying. Amen. That God will take even the church. Amen. To a, a higher place in him. Because the enemy's coming. He's coming to persecute. He's already persecuting. The churches saw a lot of persecution in 2015. You have saw a lot of persecution in 2015. But we're believing that God, amen, is going to strengthen us, amen, in the midst of our storms, in the midst of our difficulties, amen. So he will take us, amen, spiritually to where he would have us to be in our faith, amen, in our mindset, amen. Let this mind be in us that is also was in Christ Jesus, amen. I want his mind in 2016 so I could walk through the fire and not get burned, so I could go through the floods, amen, and not drown. It's coming, amen, because with the newness, amen, uh, new levels, new devils, uh, yeah, new levels, uh, new devils. But guess what? God is in control. He's in control of it, and he's saying, I got you. I have you. Amen. Just just obey my commands. Amen. Strengthen me, Lord. Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, as we uh, are closing down on 2015. We thank you, Lord, for all of the things and all of the blessings that we have received, even our trials. We thank you, God, for our trials, because they even came to make us strong. We thank you for all the things that we had to endure, God. Uh, only you know all the things that we went through in 2015. Amen. But we survived, God. You, you kept us. Amen. And you kept us for a reason, and you kept us for a purpose. And now, God, as we embark on the last few days of 2015, amen, let us not wait until 2016 that we can say we want to change or we want to do this differently. God give us the strength that we may be able to do it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. That we will be all that you said we would be. We will go all where you said we would go and we will do all that you said we will do. We claim in it right now, God. We're not waiting till December 31st to the final tick of the clock amen for you to bring it you bringing it to us now and we receive it right now in the name of jesus we receive healing we receive promotions we receive blessings we receive ministry right now in your name god so we may be about your your business god we may be about the things that you have given us to do god may perhaps we haven't done all that we were supposed to do god in 2015 but help us god by your grace and your mercy to do and be all that you would have us to be father in jesus name i pray amen let all the saints of god say amen amen god bless you uh have a blessed day in god amen i know it's getting a little cold up north but uh put on those coats amen and, and, and just be protected and be warm and let's move into 2016 amen with the attitude of new Amen. That God is going to do some new stuff. And guess what? He's starting it right now. So we receive it in Jesus name. Have thine own way, Lord. And Lord, bless this place. Bless this sanctuary. Bless the Mount Zion church, God, that all that we would do here, our worship, Lord, that you would be pleased with it. And our ministry, God, you would be pleased with it. Bless this church in the name of Jesus. I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Hi, Jessica. God bless you. Uh, pray for me. As I pray for you, amen, new, new, a new year. And guess when the new year starts? The new year starts right now in the name of Jesus. God bless you all.